Hey, it's Clay, and this will be a video chart on ticker symbol MDR. We will take a look at the 30 minute time frame. Real quick, what do I mean by 30 minute in case maybe you're new to charts? Instead of each one of these candlesticks here representing one day's worth of price action, which is what you would normally see, each one represents 30 minutes. So, all this here may look like several days worth of time. It's actually today's price action broken down into 30 minute time slices. I like to do this time frame, and it's a good job of telling the quote unquote story of the price and then makes mapping out with levels of support and resistance a bit easier to see. Did this analysis a few days ago, so that is where the red and green line annotations are coming from. First thing I'm gonna do is just go ahead and get rid of this line down there. Yeah, that level pertains, just not relevant anymore and from a presentation standpoint. I don't wanna risk causing clutter and confusion because there's lines everywhere. So let's try to keep this as clean as possible. The one update that does really pertain to today is in regards to this resistance tread line that I put into place. And right, I mean, this is a great real life example of a tread line breakout. Price made an explosive move up got the break right there, and then essentially spent the remainder of the day just separating further and further to the upside. So again, that line still pertains, but it's, it's essentially played its role for the time being. So I'll just get rid of that too, because from the presentation point of view, I just don't want lines everywhere you look, because then I'm risking causing clutter and confusion, which is the exact opposite of what I'm trying to accomplish with these videos. So let's get some newer levels mapped out. And the first level of support is what I would call the ideal level. And we say, hey Clay, what would make this chart look the absolute strongest going forward, and that would be if the price can stay above $1.90. Now, don't get me wrong, if the price falls below $1.90, I'm not saying the entire chart's destroyed or anything like that, but yeah, if the price could stay above there, that would be a huge sign of strength. Looking at things from a bigger picture point of view, that's where the purple line comes into play. The 50 period, a simple moving average. As the name implies, that line is gonna move itself higher and higher. So a very straightforward way now to gauge the health of the move. That right there is how I'm defining the move. Just watch that purple line. As long as the price stays above that line, as the line itself moves higher and higher, then the bulls are in full health, the bulls are in full control. How you must visualize that, that is what is being represented. Again, yeah, staying above $1.90 would be great, but from the grand scheme of it all, as long as the price is above that purple line, the bulls 100% own the chart. As far as next potential areas of resistance, gonna squeeze down the chart here a little bit just to offer up a little bit more context and make sure I'm not missing anything. There we go. So next key level to watch and maybe it got rejected from there today. Yeah, right up there around the $2 mark, $2 was a former area of support back here. So that's just a classic example of this former support now acting as resistance right there. So don't get me wrong, I'm not saying the price can't break above $2. I'm just saying it makes sense why the price is currently struggling at that area. All in all though, great movement today, nice tread line breakout. Now going forward, it's just a question of can the price build upon this momentum? Let's see. One of the biggest questions I get is, hey Clay, how do you find the stocks that you trade? So what I've done is put together a free resource guide where I talk about the tools that I use to locate stocks that I find interesting and think may have potential. So if that sounds like something that could add value to you as a trader, then click on the image that is up on the screen right now and I will email you the guide. The guide itself is very short and to the point and best part, it's completely free. Thanks for watching the video. Let me know if you have any questions.